Hello. Hello. How are we all? Good. Thanks in you. All good. Thank you. Awesome. Hit record. Welcome, everybody. It's good to see you all again. Um, tonight we are continuing with our Your Body Sign Language um, series. And I'm just going to sh share my screen over here because I'm running a PowerPoint, which helps me keep on track. And there we go. I'm going to shrink everybody else down. Right. So the book I'm, I'm using is from Jim McAfee, Dr. Jim McAfee. He is a board certified clinical nutritionist of a good many years standing in the US. And he developed this book as a, almost like a textbook. Um, and what I really like about it is it's got all the information in it, but never mentions near life anywhere. So it's, I know, especially overseas, we, we are battling to get it over here. The only way to get it here that I'm aware of is via Amazon. Um, it does work out a little bit pricey by the time you get it landed here. But um, if you buy it new with cost of book and landing fees, etc., it's about 500 rand. There are other sellers and you can bring that down to about 350 to 400 rand. It's still pricey, but it's a very, very valuable book. So today we're going to start at the top of the body. We've done the body shape over the last couple of weeks, and now we're going to start at the top, meaning our scalp and hair. And if we listen to the signs of our body, we can learn all sorts of information. The scalp and hair resemble mirrors reflecting the body's nutritional status. The scalp is the active tissue that produces the hair and impaired blood flow to this area will result in inferior hair, meaning hard, brittle, dry, bald. Because of this bond to our circulation, the hair provides clues to the condition of the heart and circulatory system. We can also pick up signs of heavy metal poisoning in the hair, amongst other things. A wide spectrum of nutrients is necessary for a healthy scalp and hair. So when you see a healthy head of hair, you know that they, they, their nutrition is probably pretty good. Quality fats improve circulation and keep the scalp healthy. And quality fats would include things like your tree and N, um, well, I shouldn't really say tree and N, but your omega-3, your salmon oil, your vitamin A and D, etc. Hair consists of protein and minerals and reflects a lack of these nutrients. So you've heard the, the advertising bit about giving your dog Bob Martins because it gives them a wet nose, shiny tail, or shiny nose and, and glossy coat. Well, there's your minerals and your vitamin B that goes towards your hair growth in a dog. So it should work pretty well for us as well. Faulty digestion, particularly of protein, can cause hair loss or its deterioration. So not in every case, but in a lot of cases, if hair is thinning and falling out, I will go through this just now because it's just one of the, of the reasons for that. Um, you'll probably find that people with those problems, especially if the hair is dry and brittle and that sort of thing, the digestion and or protein intake are lacking. Baldness, fancy term for that is alopecia. And a couple of classic examples. Our founder, Jerry Brassfield, is completely bald. And Alan Blaine, one of the rising stars in the States, um, leading very rapidly to president's team, um, is also completely bald. Now, I don't know what the reason is behind their baldness, whether it's genetic, whether it's by choice, uh, in other words, by razor, I actually, I, I have no idea. I have my doubts that either one of them is nutritional deficiencies, unless it was an early deficiency um, that has now come through later on in life. 
because often problems that happen early in life can show up later on. Some types of baldness have been linked to heart disease. Premature hair loss in women has been associated with poor nutrition and especially iron deficiency. Found that quite interesting because as we know, iron deficiency is becoming a lot more common these days, mostly or should I say partly because we are not getting sufficient iron in our diet. Quite probably because of the type of diet that we're having, um, hamburgers, etc., are not going to give you any iron. Fast foods are not going to give you any iron. And sadly, a lot of people, I wouldn't say live on that, but survive on that, and therefore don't get the iron that they need. Um, currently, we obviously don't have iron available simply because our SAB are so picky and they picked up something in the ingredients that didn't quite meet their standards. So they pulled iron off the market until they could find a raw source that was going to meet their standards. And the last I heard was that they had in fact found a new source, but they were still busy doing tests. So fingers crossed, we will have iron back on the market in the not too distant future. In the meantime, you can use multi-mineral formula four. Any serious deficiency of zinc and protein may cause various degrees of hair loss. Zinc is a very important mineral and again, something that is lost in the diet in a lot of times, probably because it's not chelated. Once it's chelated, then we get a much better absorption rate of it. So some suggestions about what we can use. To maintain healthy circulation with regular exercise and good diet, um, and as I said, regular exercise doesn't mean going to the gym and pumping irons every day. Regular exercise could simply mean taking a walk around the block or just doing some fairly rapid walking or even running on the spot if you want to, if you're living in a small house. And a good diet, obviously, is a balanced diet. When you supplement with nutrients that are known to improve circulation and prevent heart disease, and the most, the most well-known one there is vitamin E. We have a vitamin E that is a complete vitamin E complex, unique on the market. Most vitamin E supplements that you, that you will find in health food stores and pharmacies contain one of the eight vitamin E's, and quite often that is derived from crude oil. I didn't believe that until I did some research on it and I uh, was very shocked to discover that that is in fact fact. There's our vitamin E. Our vitamin E is derived from wheat germ oil and processed cold so that it maintains and retains as many of the oils or, or of the vitamin E's as possible. And as I said, it contains all eight. When you're looking at a bottle of vitamin E, you're looking for a chemical symbol that says D-alpha-tocopherol. Big words, I know, but alpha-tocopherol is the main vitamin E, is also the cheapest one to process, which is why most people use just the alpha-tocopherol, even if they are using a natural source. Um, if your bottle says DL, alpha tocopherol. My terminology therefore says L means leave it on the shelf because that is a synthetic vitamin E and it is not going to be utilized in the same manner that your natural vitamin E's do. You need to maintain a healthy antioxidant intake to slow aging. Obviously from the day that we are born we start aging and sadly one day we will all die because life is lethal and at some stage we will all die. The younger we are, the less we want to think about it, but it is a fact and a reality. There's our carotenoid complex. As we know, 
carotenoid complex is unique and the only one of its kind in the world um, because and it's been independently tested and proven to boost your immune system 37 percent in a mere 20 days women with hair loss should be tested for or suspected of having iron deficiency so if you are losing hair for some unknown reason find your local gp or go directly to the lab and ask them to do a simple blood test to check and see are they low in iron or not and the things that contain iron are formula four pro vitality and or multi-mineral with alpha alpha and dependent on how deficient you are in iron um, as to how many of each of those supplements you would need and how often you take them as in more than once a day or just simply once a day is the formula four formula four is a complete full factor multivitamin mineral and contains the lipids and sterols that we know of as trianin another unique product on the market and there's the multi-mineral which contains the full spectrum of minerals all in a chelated form for ultimate absorption dandruff very common problem stand behind somebody in a queue and you see that gray stuff on their shoulder on the uh, collar there's some way that you can open up and start chatting to them because dandruff is commonly associated with poor nutrition now you might want to be a little bit polite and politically correct when you're approaching somebody like that but it is a good way of opening up this is a sign of dysfunction of the oil secreting glands and dehydration of skin cells so basically dandruff is really um the skin cells in the scalp that are dying off and then flaking off uh, through their hair. Often a lack of omega-3 or other essential fatty acids is a common deficiency that can cause dandruff. Um, as I said, our essential fatty acids are the omega-3s as well as vitamin E um, and also your uh, vitamin A and D are other essential acids. Nutrients such as zinc, magnesium, your B vitamins, um, B3, B6, B12, folic, biotin, are all B vitamins, and vitamin C are all essential for the proper working of fats in our body. Now, when we eat food, we don't just have a vitamin C or a vitamin B12 or a piece of iron or whatever. You will find in nature a complex so you'll find your main ingredient with a lot of trace elements around that in various levels and densities and amounts and this is exactly how sab has developed our products so we are going to get the complete complex because with nutrition things work together so having just one working like b12 for instance that will overpower the B2s and the B3s and the other 11 vitamin Bs. So that's not a good thing. So we need that complex and need everything to work together. A high intake of sugar, alcohol, or faulty digestion can prevent efficient use of fats. Again, your digestion levels and your stomach acid are vital to getting your body the correct nutrients because if your digestion is not working correctly your body can't take out the nutrients that it needs and it can't process them as well and with today's diets what do we know a lot of sugar quite a bit of alcohol and alcohol can be in different forms as well because if you're having cough mixture for instance you're ingesting alcohol and there's quite a few of the children's medications that contain alcohol um, things like uh, colic med medicines and that sort of thing all contain alcohol so be careful of those hidden sugars and alcohols and also then the faulty digestion so it's things to look out for 
some suggestions to help over here. Avoid overusing harsh shampoos, which can dry the scalp. You know, some of these shampoos or anti-dandruff shampoos and anti-this and anti-that can be quite heavy on, on the body. Now, we've got a well-formulated set of shampoo and conditioner. There's two different types of shampoo. There's the mild and there's the normal, I think it is. Uh, rich, sorry. Rich and mild. So look at what, what's happening with your hair and with your customers' hairs and advise them accordingly. We used to have two conditioners, but they've now been able to uh, combine everything into one conditioner. There we go. Those are the shampoo and conditioners. And you can use it every day. My suggestion is not. Give it a couple of days in between. But what, I've, what I have found with our shampoo and conditioner is that you can easily go for one to two days before your hair starts to feel oily again. But knowing that we've conditioned the hair and not stripped away all the essential oils does make it a lot better. We need to consume good fats, especially the omega-3 and the phospholipids, which is what we know of as trianine, while enjoy, avoiding the junk fats. That's your fried foods, your fast foods, all of those things. Those are not good fats. There's our omega-3. As we know, every batch of salmon oil is tested for over 200 known contaminants with a detectable rate of zero. I trust this product with my life. Supplement with a well-balanced multivitamin and mineral. And what do you know there? Formula four. We won't go through that one again, but know that that is a complete full factor multivitamin and mineral together with the most important part, which is your lipids and sterols or trianine. Excess facial hair. Now, there's a lot of guys walking around there with excess facial hair. I don't think they're the ones with the problem. But with a lady, ladies wearing a moustache, you've got to know that there's a problem over there. That is caused by excess sugar and caffeine. Your high-powered executives who are always stressed and living on coffee and donuts and possibly cigarettes or undue emotional stress can overstimulate the adrenal glands and cause excess facial hair on a woman. So if you check and you see that you need a shave and you're a lady, maybe you need to check a few things and see what's wrong with you. Overstimulation of the adrenal glands may result in failure to ovulate, leading to estrogen dominance. So that's going to mess up your hormones in a big way that can cause a lot of issues. We will get into the hormones and the ladies' issues at a later stage. Sugar intake in the average diet is like an iceberg. 80% of the sugar we consume is hidden in foods, that proverbial hidden sugars. Because normally when we talk of sugar, we think of that white crystalline stuff that you chuck in your tea and coffee. That, in the greater scheme of things, is probably okay if you're having half a, half a teaspoon of sugar in your coffee. I know some people who have three tablespoons of sugar in their coffee. And then that's not the only sugar that they're getting. So what do we suggest? Avoid the refined carbohydrates. Now, please remember there is a difference between refined carbohydrates or simple carbohydrates and complex carbohydrates. We need the complex carbohydrates in the body. We don't need the simple carbohydrates. Um, carbs are also sugar and caffeine. Avoid activities that overstress and overstimulate the adrenal glands. So if you can, stay away from peak hour traffic where there are taxis involved because that'll get you stressed straight off the bat. Support adrenal function with adequate protein and complex carbohydrate. What do we know about that one? Near life shake, TNN. Here's the shake. And this is what, part of the reason why they say we need the protein to start the day. Because once you've got that intake in you, you are protected for pretty much the rest of the day. And TNN, as we know, a famous, unique, one-of-a-kind product around the world is what we should all be having. And every single person should be having, whether they take any of our other products or not, 
they need treonine to allow their bodies to absorb whatever other stuff they are putting into themselves. And supplement with vitamin B complex. Remember again, not just a single B, but the entire complex. Your body will utilize what it needs when it needs it. And vitamin C and plant fats, which you'll find in your carotenoid complex. And there is your vitamin B. And as far as I know, it is back in stock again. I know we had a slight challenge with it, but it is back in stock. I need to order some more myself. And the vitamin C, as we know, is both in the swallowable form as well as the chewable form. Flag signs. Normally in a child's hair that loses its pigment. And I didn't really understand that at first, but once I got going through it, I figured it out. The sign indicates periodic deficiency of protein intake or inability to utilize the amino acids. Hair color fluctuates with the deficiency, thus creating a flag effect. And if you've ever seen a child with a big tummy and red hair, they are very much having a nutrition problem. Um, there can be other changes in hair, but that's one of the big things. Severe protein malnutrition causes hair to lose color. So again, your premature gray hair, etc. cetera, um, as you grow old gracefully and you get gray hair, that's okay. But if it goes gray early, you've probably had a major shock and you will lose protein and lose color in your hair. Protein deficiency severe enough to alter hair pigmentation is most common amongst malnourished children, long-term drug addicts, or extreme dieters. And these are the guys, your traditional yo-yo dieters. They diet this week, and then they binge, and then they diet, then they binge, then they diet, etc. So they're not getting the nutrition that they need. Severe protein deficiency may be indicated by fluid retention and increased susceptibility to infection. Danny, are you listening carefully to that one? Because I think the gentleman that we were discussing the other day might just have this problem. Um, something to look at in his diet. Some suggestions. Increase the protein intake. If you want to, you can have extra fish or chicken, preferably free-range chicken. Um, and wild caught fish, not too close to the coast or near close to a river mouth because that's poison. Um, and increased free range uh, meats. Um, venison, I find, is very, very good. If you don't have those options, increase your near life shake or your nutri shake. That's a great, that's probably one of the best sources of protein. There's even for children. So we've got our nutri shake for children and the near life shake for the adults. Supplement those with strong cravings or addictions with generous quantities of amino acids and vitamin C. Where do we find our amino acids? Near life shake and then vitamin C. And they did a study and they discovered that drug addicts in general have little to no vitamin C left in their system. They started testing the druggies and then what they discovered was that the vitamin B and vitamin C levels were so low they didn't bother testing anymore because they just knew that if this was an addict, they, they had no vitamin C in their system. And these people can take significantly larger doses of vitamin C than those of us who are not addicts. And it doesn't just have to be drug addiction. It can be sugar addiction. It can be smoking. It can be coffee addiction. Those are all addictions. And Jim McAfee has got a very, very good talk on that that's available on his website on imageawareness.com. Um, there's the chewable vitamin C. Premature gray hair, meaning half your hair is gray by the age of 40. And we had a school principal who was completely gray, and I think he was completely gray by the time he was 30. And later on in life, ended up with diabetes and heart conditions and died much younger than what he should have. Premature gray hair may reflect a vitamin D deficiency with a subsequent increased risk of bone loss and osteoporosis. We're becoming very aware of vitamin D at the moment with COVID 
And it's long been known in the northern climes that when winter sets in and people don't go outside, they have a lot more bone fractures through fallings and that sort of thing. And also depression and suicides because of a low vitamin D. Thyroid problems are also common in those with premature gray hair. These are just summaries that I'm going through. So if people think that there could be a problem like thyroid or um, osteoporosis, et cetera, please, please, please let them go and see their doctor and be tested accordingly. So how do we get vitamin D? You expose your skin to sufficient sunlight or supplement with vitamin D. There is a vegan vitamin D available overseas, but not here yet. I'm hoping it will be here also in the not too distant future. Currently, our best source is vitamin A and D and obviously CalMag. But we're in Africa, specifically KZN. Go spend some time out in the sun. Um, just if you're outside and you're perspiring, don't come in and have a shower immediately because you're washing away everything that you need to create the vitamin D. So keep that perspiration on your skin for a little while. Here's our vitamin A and D. My suggestion, specifically here in Natal, keep it in the fridge. Otherwise, it goes very, very sticky and you end up with a Fish Echo Deluxe. Obtain all the essential nutrients to slow the aging process. Better speed up because I'm running out of time. Um, and the way that we can do that is simply through by using the breakfast pack on a daily basis. That is why it was developed, because by taking a protein shake and a pro vitality, you're getting your whole grain oils, you're getting your minerals and vitamins, you're getting your essential fatty acids in the form of salmon oil, and you're getting your antioxidants in the form of carotenoids. And you're getting all your amino acids, all 22 of them in a balanced, complete protein form. And the protein in Neo Life Shake is also in a, uh, one of the, there's actually about three different proteins in there. One of them is in a pre-digested form, meaning that as soon as you swallow it and it hits the stomach, the body can utilize it immediately. And that is my show for tonight. So I'm going to stop sharing. And does anybody have any questions? Sure, that's amazing. Thank you very much, Sean. Sure. Thank you. We don't realize you, the importance. Yeah. So there's a Thank lot. Thank you, I don't have to give up coffee. Well, you just. No, to me too. It. You have to give it up, just reduce it to one <laughs> to two cups a day instead of one to two <gasps> cups a day. Can I just, can I just uh, make a comment? Yeah. Go ahead. Um, about the iron, mm -hmm. um, I have personally found that the iron in the, I, I, I always used to have an iron deficiency and I would always supplement mm -hmm. and miss my iron and use the multi-mineral. Mm -hmm. But I've always used multi-mineral. But I, I know I still had a deficiency and I switched from my Formula 4 Plus mm -hmm. to the Formula 4 Flame. And I noticed the difference. Yes. Somehow I think that the iron in that it's very little, there's very little iron, it's very little, and I said, it's not going to make a difference. But somehow I think it's just better absorbed. I don't know why. So that's mm -hmm. the one thing. I want to just say what I what I found. Yeah. And then secondly, the thing of hair loss. You I have so over the years so often got these questions about hair loss, and I advise the protein and mm -hmm. everything that you take, which is I thought made common sense. Mm -hmm. And so many of these people said that their doctors, um, um, but this is what I can't think of the English word now, but anyways, the doctor said it was because of hormonal imbalance. Mm -hmm. So I sort of like tend to tell people, you know, about the omega-3 and the 3NN, and et cetera, uh, mm -hmm. stress that a little bit more. So I don't yes. know what your comment is. Hormonal yeah. imbalance in women, women who lost yeah. it. I'm not talking about it yeah. now. Yeah. Unnaturally, the air just starts sort of like starts falling out, and Correct. it can be stress as well. Yes, for many many reasons, and that's where I think tree and N works really really well because tree and N works on your not only on your adrenal glands for stress, but
but also on the hormones to balance them out. Now your comment yeah. about the formula four plus and the formula four, formula four plus does not have any iron in it. Formula four yeah. does. Yeah, that's, that's why I speak. Yes, and I use formula four and then I add trien in whenever I need it. Yeah, yeah, that's right. I do the same, especially in this hot summer, summer days when you get, and you have to take two. Um, yes. When I started in the business, it was only Formula 4. And mm -hmm. when the plus came out, I thought I would use that to process more three in it, although yes. I knew there was no iron in it, but we had to the chelated iron. But I, I'm now back on the Formula 4, and it really, right. I'm quite sure it helps me a lot. It does. And that's why they made the Formula 4 in um, Pro Vitality. To contain iron. Yeah. Okay. Uh, mm. Mm. Yeah. I know it's different than the, than the ordinary multi. Correct. The ordinary yeah. multi doesn't have it, but the multi in the probability yeah. yeah. Yes. The yeah. 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 And the fourth daily, uh, daily vitality package. Yeah. Okay. Sure. I yes. If I can quickly ask. I've, you, I've came across a few people that got like an eczema at the back of their head in their hairline. Would that be stress or what? Could be stress. Um, it could be the sort of the adult version of cradle cap. So it could be that they're just perspiring a lot in that area and developing a, I would call it a contact dermatitis. So for that, I would suggest that they use the our shampoo and conditioner. And then yeah. they can also massage in aloe gel and just leave it in. Okay. Okay. Thank you very much for that. Okay. We've got about four minutes left. Sure. I just wanted to say that my husband used to suffer very badly from um, dandruff and that, and he was everlasting changing to all the weird uh, shampoos that you could buy at Discam. Yeah. And since we've been doing Neolife and he's been on Formula 4 and all the vitamins I've got him on and salmon oil, mm -hmm. and he's using the conditioner and the rich um, yeah. shampoo, he, he doesn't have dandruff anymore. He hasn't had for the last six months or so. There you go. Yes, right. His sure. nutrition yeah. levels have come back yeah. up again. Amazing. Our products work. Very much. <laughs> yeah, they do. Yeah. Yeah. Quality works. That's it. Yeah. Uh, Sean, yes. uh, excuse a stupid question, maybe. No. What is the difference again between the rich and the and the mild? The mild is for more damaged hair, so your very brittle hair. Um, that okay. would be people who have had perms on a very regular basis, uh, or their hair has been damaged because of, of lack of yeah, it's been dyed and lack of nutrition, basically. Okay. So it's very dry okay. and brittle. Then they could do they okay. mild. Okay. All right. Otherwise, the rich for every normal normal yeah. hairs. I use, the yeah. okay. I use the rich. Now I've got the rich as well, but I was wondering. Yeah. I kind of couldn't remember exactly why I picked that one instead of the other, and what was yeah. the story. Okay. okay. Good stuff. So you. the mild will be also for colored hair. Yeah. Because that your hair often goes brittle. Treated hair. Treated hair needs the mild. Yeah. Um, he did it yeah, anyway, yeah. yeah. Okay, good stuff. Thanks. Okay, fantastic, Sean. Great talk, Sean. Thank I don't you know so how you remember all great. these details. It, it blows my mind. Yeah. <laughs> I cheat, I've got a book. It's right there. I can imagine, but still, I mean, you you don't, it's not like you read it. You're going to like, you go, but you go for it and you keep talking about it. It's like thinking, oh my God. Yeah. <laughs> I'd be, I'd be, I I'd wish be I were, Sean. <laughs> I'll be reading it a lot more slowly than you. <laughs> anyway, yeah. thank you. That's no, fun. Thank you, Sean, for the work you put in, Brippe. We know you did a lot of work in the team. And we appreciate it. We don't say it every day. <laughs> Both yeah, of the everything. Everybody says a little thing and thank you, thank you. So I refrain from doing that. I know my own phone is busy without that. <laughs> <laughs> thank you very much. Thanks thank for the you. support, everybody. No, right. we really thank you very much. much. Yes, I agree I'm with Linda that. and everyone. Thank you, Sean. Thanks, Sean. Thanks very much. All right, time's up. And I think tomorrow night there's a near life meeting. 
Um, no, I think it's just training <coughs> it's again for the new distributors. Uh, I'm not too sure. Yes. And then Liz yes. is doing a talk again next week, if I'm not mistaken. Okay. All right. So enjoy the rest Thank of the week, everybody. Thank you very much. God bless. Bye. 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 See you on Sunday. Bye. 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 Bye.